I'll stick with the food theme now, but something a little different, because if you're wondering what to have for tea, how would you fancy a bug burger? It may seem a little bit far-fetched, but a researcher at Coventry University has been looking at the potential of insects as part of our daily diet. We sent our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar to meet her and hear more about the ideas, and of course to try a couple of crickets for lunch. In Uganda, this is how they harvest edible insects. In this case, grasshoppers. You use water. They use water. Water in the drum. Mm -hmm. You split around here, around the drums like this. Mm. Prevent it from coming out. Of the, from coming out. From 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 the iron sheet. Mm. They land into the drum. Okay, so once they're in the drum, because yeah. there's water, they don't come up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's the voice of Lillian Benego, who filmed this harvest, and here she is. She's a researcher at Coventry University's Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience. And today she's discussing her research on edible insects with her colleagues. And of course she's offering them a cricket-based snack. Yeah, I had some uh, grasshoppers and they were nice. They were crunchy, they were quite salty, they'd be nice in a stir-fry. I would have them again. Yeah. Oh, they were really nice, yeah. I oh, like seriously? Them. Yeah, yeah they liked them because they had this little spicy thing on it, so that was really good. So I really liked it. I mean, we eat prawns, we eat shrimps. It's just we've got this mental aversion to insects, and I admit they don't look so nice, but if you don't look at what you're eating, it would be quite normal, I think. There's this big idea where people believe that people eat insects because they are starving, which is not true. They are missing out. For many of us, the idea of eating insects is all a bit, well, bush tucker trial. But Lillian Benego argues they're a valuable source of protein and money for those who farm them. Uh, David has joined me now and excellent you brought some samples with you David. <laughs> I have indeed these are the uh, Ugandan grasshoppers we were eating at lunchtime uh, so we brought some along for you uh, as you can see here they're quite attractive looking they're just poking their little heads up uh, from the very nice lettuce wrap there's a splash of Thousand Island and this sort of sluggy stuff that's just onion okay so there you go uh, there's a bit of coriander as well obviously uh, for the grasshoppers they were actually picked harvested and then roasted uh, by Miss Benego herself and these are then behind us, although in fact we're eating the brown ones rather than the green ones uh, and they only change colour depending on what they're actually eating themselves so that's why they're different colours. Okay a, a little bit less of the we are eating David. Would you like to try I'm one, stalling. Mary? I've always been a big fan of vegetarian food so I'll have a little pepper that'll be delicious. Okay. Uh, now once you've gone over this kind of slightly icky factor there is actually a serious side to this isn't there? Yeah there's some really interesting research that they're doing at Coventry into all this. First of all in a disaster zone, in a famine zone, in an area where people don't have access to food could you grow a lot of insects, edible insects very quickly as a food source? And then beyond that, you saw those farmers, edible insect farmers, in my report in Uganda. Well, could you improve the way they're farming and help them generate more insects and also earn more money from what they're doing? But there is still this psychological thing, isn't there? I'm worried this pepper's gone a bit too close <laughs> to, to the grasshopper there. Um, there is still a psychological hurdle to get over, this idea of eating insects. Well, it doesn't look too bad, does it? You're going to make me do it, aren't you? <laughs> OK, here we go. Uh, Gary is ready on camera one. Here we go. And... You're so gonna, you can tell me it's delicious now. Aren't it's you? delicious. It's a little bit spicy. It's a bit crispy. It's not, you know, it's like white bait, basically. I think the thing is, we tend to think bush tucker trial in this country mm. when it's about eating insects. And actually, to be honest, that's pretty tasty. And you seriously think it's going to catch on? No, not of your reaction to anything to go by. <laughs> but actually, if you try them, they're really delicious. OK, I tend to be quite adventurous in my food choices. I'm just a little bit worried I might end up kind of choking for the rest of the programme. Mm, so that's okay. the reason. Yeah, OK, then. I know a man who's very much into his cricket, though, of course, is, uh, is Dan, uh, who's going to bring us the sport a little later. So can, can we tempt you to a little, um, little Not bug? as much. And the, the look on your face, Mary, I've never seen you look so worried in this studio uh, okay. ever. So well, we'll move on to the sport, All right, tempt me.